Hello Peaches, welcome back to Dear Peachy. In today's video, we are going to talk from A to Z about nose contour. We have compiled useful tips for you to understand the shape of your nose and providing you the best solution to apply nose contour effectively to accentuate your nose. This video will be divided into four parts to discuss every detail that you should know about nose contouring. Part 1 Understanding the parts of nose and the ideal nose proportion to face. Part 2 Types of noses. Part 3 The tools and makeup you need for nose contouring. Part 4 Ways to contour and tips to accentuate your nose. Part 1 As you can see in this picture on your screen, our nose is broken down into several parts. We can see this is the root of your nose. Then the root is extended to the bridge. The end of the nose bridge is called as the nose tip. The septum is the base of your nose. Nose alar or nose wings are the side of your nose. The next picture here is to show you the ideal nose proportion to face. Get a ruler and place it straight on the side of your nose. The width of your nose should be equal to the distance between both inner corner of your eyes. However, this rule will not be able to apply if you have wider set eyes. Besides, the ideal ratio of nose is about one third of your whole face. Understanding this basic information about your nose will help you to contour your nose effectively. Part 2 Well, there are various types of noses because we are born with our uniqueness and that make us who we are. We are not here to shame or make fun of any of these nose types. We are not saying that one particular person looks good with certain nose types or whatsoever. Anyone can have any types of nose and still look beautiful. So please don't feel insulted as this video is for educational purpose only. Here, we have summarized the features of different nose types. Type 1 Low Nose Root The exact location of nose root actually starts with the point in between both eyes. If you have low nose root, you will realize that your nose bridge will start below the level of your eyes. Type 2 Low Nose Bridge Different from nose root, nose bridge starts at the point below your eyes level. However, if you have lower nose bridge, you will usually face the issue of low nose root too. Type 3 Wide Nose Wings If the width of your nose is wider than the distance between both of your inner corner, then you might have wide nose alar. Type 4, bulbous nose. I guess you already know from its name. Bulbous nose has rounder nose tip. Type 4, wide nose bridge. If the width of nose bridge is equal or more than the width of your nose wings, this is actually nose with wide nose bridge. Type 5, upturned nose. Upturned nose has more visible nostrils from the front. However, the list here is by no means inclusive. There are many more types of nose and nose shapes out there. We are just listing the common types here. Part 3 Tools and Makeup Products You Need to Get the Perfect Nose Contour For the products, you will need contour powder, shimmery highlighter, matte highlighter and concealer. Let's talk a little bit more about contour powder. When you're picking contouring product, please remember to pick products which has gray undertone rather than brown undertone. This is because gray undertone contour will suit Asians or yellow skin tone more as it will look more natural when applied on skin. The shadow casted on our faces is actually in the color of top instead of brown. Choosing the wrong tone will make your makeup look messy and unnatural. We want to show you some of the examples of products that are highly discussed in the Chinese beauty world. The MAC Omega eyeshadow is loved by all China beauty gurus because of how natural it looks on skin and easy for makeup newbies to use. Another China local beauty brand called Judy Doll has really great and affordable contour product too. To apply the products, you need the correct brushes. There are two types of brushes can be used as a nose contour brush. You can either use the usual round-headed nose contour brush or the angled smudge brush. It's definitely up to you which one you would prefer the most, or feel more comfortable working with it. Part 4 Let's get into the business. How to contour your nose. We have found a very useful video by a very famous beauty blogger in China named Mayan Mayan. For girls who has low nose root and wide nose wings, it's your time to take down some notes. First, use the angle brush to take the contour powder. Remember to slightly brush it on your hand to remove the excess powder, or else, you will have smudges of contour powder on your skin. To create the shadows, you have to find the starting point of the shadow. If you have a short mid face, you can start from the area between your brow bone and eye socket. Or, if you have long mid face, you will need to start contouring from the point which is the same level as your inner corner. She says she has long mid face, so she will start from the eye level. First, draw a C shape and blend it out. Then, brush it over to your eye socket. A very important tip here, when blending out shadows on your nose bridge, blend the shadows inwards rather than outwards. Blending it inwards direction can help to narrow your nose bridge. 
Look at the comparison. Her nose bridge is raised. To shrink your nose tip, apply contour at your nose bridge by using the angled brush. Draw a V-shape on the base of your nose. When you're done with this step, you need to join the shadows to your nose tip. On both sides of your nose tips, draw a bracket. While the blank area inside the bracket will be the ideal size of our nose tip, blend the shadows in outward direction. She says she thinks that her nose is sharper when the contouring is done. However, her nose wings is still wide. She is taking the concealer using a flat brush and apply on the side of her nose wings. Blend it out on the skin at the side of her nose. This step can help decrease the depth of the shadows of nose wings, hence creating the visual effect of smaller nose wings. Finally, to highlight your nose, take matte highlighter in white color tone and apply it on your nose tip. If you would like to have shorter nose, apply highlighter higher on your nose tip. This can help to sharpen your nose. Or if you would like to lengthen your nose, Apply it lower on your nose tip. Don't forget on your nose root too. Apply a dot on your nose root and slowly blend it out. Do not brush it all over your nose bridge. This will make your nose look unnatural. Apply shimmery highlighter if you want something more. Look how natural her nose contour is. It really helped in refining her nose shape. Next, we have another tutorial from another beauty guru. For girls who has wider nose bridge, bulbous nose and wider nose tips, this might be helpful to you. To be honest, I think this beauty guru has really high nose root and nose bridge and she looks so cute. She starts her nose contouring by concealing the original marks and shadows of her nose. She said you need to start concealing at the dented area at the side of our nose wings. Take a lighter concealer shade and fill in the dented regions. We will usually have redness around the sides of our nose. So conceal this part here and pat out the concealer like this. As she said she always have her glasses on, the pressure from glasses had leave marks on the side of her nose bridge. She is taking a darker concealer shade to conceal the side of her nose bridge, and also the front of her brows. You can use lighter shade to conceal like this. Remember to pat it out. She is going to reduce the size of her nose tip first, in order to know where is the correct place to apply contour. She says we always need to remember that the width of your nose should be same as the distance between both of your brows. You will need to estimate it by looking at the width of your nose bridge. Place your fingers on your nose bridge like her here, and go down to your nose tip. So that's the exact area that you need to apply. Then, blend out your contour in a straight line at both sides of your nose like what she is doing now. Remember to blend it out at the nose base too. She says you can actually layer the product to achieve the best effect that you want. Blend it out in a U-shaped motion. To deepen the shadows at nose root, Start to blend your product from your eye socket and extend to the inner corner in a C-shaped motion. With the excess product, brush it across your nose bridge. Then join the shadows to your nose tip. If you want to narrow the width of your nose bridge, then add shadows to both sides of your nose bridge. She also says that you should never put your brush on your nose bridge right after taking products. You can either start at nose tip or nose root but never nose bridge. Again, blend the powder inwards not outwards. This is because brushing it in outward direction will increase the area of the shadow. This will make your nose looks even bigger. Brushing it inwards can make your cheeks area look bigger. So, your nose will look smaller. If you have wide nose wings, turn your head to sideways and look into the mirror. Apply shadows at the side of your nostrils like her here. She is also adding shadows at her filtrum too. For highlighter, apply it at your nose tip and nose root. She applies highlighter to brine up her forehead too. She also applies highlighter at the side of her nose to brine up her mid face. Look at the comparison. Her nose tip does seem smaller now. We have shown you the ways to sculpt your nose. Well, there are actually other things that you can do to further enhance the visual impression of your nose too. Here are a few points that we have gathered after watching all the nose contour tutorial videos by famous makeup gurus in China. 
For those who have upturned nose, you can actually increase the black points on your face to help people to shift their attention away from your nose. Because creating shadows and highlight for your nose actually doesn't really solve the visibility of nostril. The only solution for it will be to reduce the visual impression of them. Look at this example of Lear. Wearing circle lenses can actually increase the visibility of black points on your face, which is your pupils. So the attention to your nose will then be diverted. Besides, adding a beauty mark on your face will also draw the attention away from your nose too. Moreover, putting heavier eye makeup will also help to reduce the attention to your nose. The picture here of Pimchinok will be able to show you the difference between both makeup styles. The reason why it helps to reduce the attention to nose is because, when you have lighter eye makeup, the proportion of smaller eyes to bigger nose is more visible. Whereas, heavier eye makeup will create the visual proportion of bigger eyes to big nose, the overall proportion will be more symmetrical. Next, the types of makeup style will affect the visual impression of your nose too. Let's take the Japanese makeup style. Mei Nagano's makeup as an example. Her makeup style gives us the soft and airy vibes. The Japanese makeup artist did not overdo the makeup for any features of hers. However, focusing on the harmony and balance between each features in the entire look. What we can learn from here is the technique of applying blush. Mei Nagano's blush is always applied wide apart. Applying blushes close to each other on both sides of your cheeks will create the impression of narrow face shape, thus making the nose bridge wider. Besides, they also apply Mei Nagano's blush in a more widespread manner and it is also applied across her nose tip too. Another point to take away from Mei's makeup. Select the same color tone for eyeshadow, blushes and lips. This can help to improve the balance and general look. Besides that, wrong egg yourself can also shift the attention away from your nose too. Look at the comparison when Mei has no egg yo sal. The attention will be drawn to her nose. Next, your hairstyle matters too. If you have wider nose, Avoid having hairstyle that cover up your face too much. This can reduce the exposed skin area, which may then further enlarge the existence of the nose. Pim Chinook's hairstyle in her previous movie caused her nose to look more prominent compared to her hairstyle right now. If you have bulbous nose, it's important to make sure that other features are accentuated in order to increase their visual proportion to your nose. Besides that, the shape of your brows will affect the attention to your nose too. Having a straight with slightly arched brows will decrease the attention to your nose too. Other than makeup, Earrings can help to reduce the visual impression of your nose too. Bigger earrings can actually weaken the heaviness of our nose because the level of our ears is actually same as the base of our nose. We've come to the end of our video. I hope the points that we have summarized will be able to help you to understand your nose better and find the best method to sculpt your nose. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in our next video.